Welcome to our Five Principles Cuisines vegan cooking tutorial. And today we're making a lentil loaf. So to begin, we are going to use our seasonings, our vegetables to start our base. We have onions, we have our bell peppers, we have some mushrooms, and we also have some hot scotch bonnet pepper. So we're going to cut a bit of both pieces. The red is hotter than the green. Uh, just finely chopped. I love adding scotch bonnet peppers to my food for my spice. So have that finely chopped up there. Add that to our onions and peppers and we're going to bring it here to the stove to start our cooking process. So we're going to turn our pan on to medium, um, on medium to high heat and we're going to add our oil considerable amount and then we're going to add our onions, bell peppers and our hot pepper. You want to give that a stir. Our oil, make sure your oil is hot every time or before you add your food to the pot. the beginning of the process. We are going to add our seasonings. So we have some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, and we have some chili powder and some paprika that we're also going to add to our blend. And then we are going to add our cumin to the pot. Cumin has a pungent flavor. Same with our paprika. Looking beautiful. Next to our pot, we are going to add our mushrooms. So they've been uh, sliced, um, sliced thinly. We want all the ingredients in our lentil loaf to be fairly uh, chopped, chopped fairly small. Because in a bit, we are going to match this base with our lentils. So it's not long before your vegetables will be finished sauteing on top of the stove. You want to turn that off and you want to take your pot over here for your lentils to be added. So this is about a cup of lentils that we're going to add to our pot. Okay, for lentils, um, lentils come as dried uh, beans and what you would do is put them in a pot of boiling water for about 30 minutes uh, until they are soft and fully cooked. So one thing you can't eat raw, <laughs> beans, you do have to boil them or at least soak them. So what we're going to do now is take our masher and we're going to mash the lentils and the vegetables in our pots. Not too much, but enough to get a bit of a consistency where when we bind our binding or when we add our binding agents that it's not too uh, that it's not separated too chunky not too, too chunky and again at this point you also want to taste your food just to make sure that you have all the right flavors 
um, and that it has the flavor you want for your finished products. So once it gets harder to mix, that means the thickening agents are working. And it's just about good enough to go into our pan for the lentil loaf to begin baking. So now that our lentil loaf uh, base is ready for our pan, we are going to grease the pan. Use some tissue. And be generous. And just a little more. You can either use oil or you can use a vegan margarine. Get at any one of your local health food stores. Once that's all oiled up, we want to add our lentil mix. For the top of our lentil loaf, what we're going to use to top it with is a mixture of agave, ketchup, and balsamic vinegar. So you just want to use your spoon. Our lentil loaf is now going to go into the oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, our lentil loaf is ready to come out of the oven. Wow, look at that. To perfection. Now what we're going to do is serve this with a side of roasted potatoes and our mushroom and greens. And there you have it, our lentil loaf with our roasted potatoes and mushroom ingredients.